their consciousness. So what is up guys? I hope you're all doing well. Today, ang topic natin ay isa sa pinaka trend na hindi natin ganong binibigyan ng pansin. I'm always mindful of what I consume on social media. And this trend caught my attention. So I have decided to make a content about this trend self-deprecation. And before we dive deep into this topic, let's define what is self-deprecation. A self-deprecation is the act of reprimanding oneself by belittling, undervaluing, or disparaging oneself, or being excessively modest. It can be used in humor and tension release. Ito yung klase ng humor na madalas nating napapanood on TV. And ang madalas, ang mga gumagawa nito is yung ating mga local comedian. And even our big comedian use this kind of humor. Yung nilalait nila yung sarili nila. And pinagtatawanan nila yung mga kapintasan nila. And complexities. And minsan, even their audience, they use their audience para pagtawanan. Although it's just a joke or nag apologize naman sila or binibigyan nila ng uh, paalala yung audience sila na wag mapikon kasi joke lang to. Pero kung titingnan natin sa malalim na perspective kung bakit niya ginagawa to lalong-lalo na sa sarili niya, bakit niya pinapagtawanan yung mga kapintasan niya? Eh, may malalim na dahilan. So, this type of self-hate-driven humor has become quite popular among millennials and even Gen Z. So, especially on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. So, lahat ata ng social media platform ganito yung klaseng humor na ginagawa nila. But, people dealing with anxiety, depression, or unresolved trauma should be wary of using self-deprecating humor. As should anyone who spend time around children since this kind of humor walks a thin line between harmless joking and unhealthy self-hate. So, wala naman masama minsan kung maging light tayo sa sarili natin or don't take anything personally or too seriously. And it's actually very healthy to talk about our mistakes and imperfections. But again guys, there is a fine line where self-criticism is used for comedic purposes and when it goes too far and develops into self-hate. It is important to be aware of how we talk to ourselves in order to reach self-acceptance. So, yung mga gumagawa nito is yun yung way of their coping mechanism. Maybe hindi nila ito na pag-uusapan talaga sa bahay or sa mga kamag-anakan nila or even sa mga health professionals. So, ang ginagawa nila is ginagawa nila itong katatawanan to feel relieved. So, ito yung paraan nila ng pag-iwas sa kung anong talagang nararamdaman nila and para mabigyan ng gaan. Pero madalas makikita nyo yung ating mga comedian. So, right after they reach popularity and nagkaroon na sila ng konting pera. So, anong ginagawa nila? Ba, hindi enough yung kanilang pag-self 
replicating or yung pagpapatawa nila sa kapentasan nila. But they resort to the extreme way to feel good about themselves which is cosmetic surgeon or cosmetic surgery. So madalas yan makikita nyo. Walang pangit na komedyante na pag sumikat hindi nagpapagawa ng muka o nagpapabago. Bihira. Very minimal. So siguro ito talaga yung komedyante na tanggap niya kung ano siya and yung pagpapatawa niya or panglalayat niya sa sarili niya minsan is it's nothing personal but it's purely business so malinaw sa kanya kung ano yung totoo kung anong nararamdaman niya about his kapintasan or kung ano lang talaga yung ginagawa niya out of business So most people are guilty of using this form of humor to get laughs. And while there are some nice pros, there are significant and harrowing cons to belittling oneself for the sake of a joke. Kasi yung paulit-ulit mong sinasabi sa sarili mo, paulit-ulit naririnig mo, di ba parang it's like positive reinforcement eh. Kung meron tayong yung practices, like in the morning you say, I'm good enough, I'm the best. ba? Diba? Yung everyday mong ginagawa yun, ba? Diba? pumapasok sa subconscious mo, and nagiging reality siya. Same thing, if negative thoughts, or negative thought yung pinapasok mo sa utak mo, or yung pag lalahit mo sa sarili mo, later in life, yun din ang papapaniwala mo or yun din yung papaniwalaan mo because that's how our subconscious brain works so kung ano man yung sinasabi mo dyan whether it's true or it's untrue di ba yan yung pinaprocess ng brain natin and sometimes hindi niya ma distinguish which is the truth or lies because ikaw yun eh ikaw yun nagkikid sa brain mo and then you try to justify it So many adults who abuse self-deprecating humor are not properly dealing with traumas that have prevented them from developing self-acceptance or self-assurance. And according to Online Health Magazine, we internalize everything we say whether we mean it or not. So ito yung nasabi ko kanina. But whatever you say, diba, whether we mean it or not, sometimes yan yung ipipid sa'yo ng subconscious mind mo. Well, my final word is self-deprecating humor can be useful and funny. So, it makes things light. Sino ba yung gustong hindi matawa? Who doesn't love a good laugh? But it's when those laughs are badly influencing like children or audience, diba? hindi mo natutulungan yung mga nakikinig sa'yo to take this seriously. How to process their complexities. Eh, may masamang epekto yan sa mga nanonood sa'yo. Like for example, um, pinagtawanan mo na iniwan ka ng asawa mo. Dahil pangit ka. Then, paulit-ulit mong sinasabi. So, anong sa tingin mo ang magiging reaction or paniniwala ng mga audience mo na it's okay na iwanan ka dahil pangit ka? That is wrong. You don't help the people who listens to you how to process the problem in a proper way. Or how they address their complexities or yung mga kapintasan nila. So, The next time that you feel the urge to say something negative about yourself or, or right after embarrassing moments happens, you pause and then but say to yourself na actually, it's very cool. Basta sarili mo na lang kung natatawa ka, di ba? Yeah, this kind of, it's not mental problem but it's something to be taken seriously yung mga kapintasan natin 
wag natin siyang gawing katatawanan. Diba? There's a proper way of coping with your complexities. Diba? Do your research how to cope up with your inferiority, yung kapintasan mo. Do yourself a favor. Wag natin siyang basta ignorin kasi meron yang short-term and long-term effect. Tuwing manonood tayo ng mga nakakatawang show or mga comedy, comedy show or even sa social media, just be mindful. Diba kung sinasabi ba nila yung kung maganda ba yung epekto nito sa'yo or mas lalo nitong pinapababa yung self-esteem mo. That's all about it guys and lumalakas na yung ulan. Sobrang maririnig ko sa background. And for those people na hindi pa nakasubscribe, please do so. Like and share and comment and subscribe para lumaking community natin. Lumala ka sa ulan. I'll see you guys on my next video. Much love, peace, and namaste.